What is going on guys, Tizwalfa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually went over to the mines and finally fi Oh man, look at the babies! <laughs> went over to the mine to uh, finally finish off that bug meat mission. By the way, let's pet all of our chickens here while they're out and about. Is that one? Yeah, there's one hiding right there. Let's pet all of them. Let's not forget about that because we could actually get to... Wait, the one, there's another one right there? <laughs> <laughs> Poo! I forgot about their names. Yeah, wouldn't Poo and then like Wombus or something with that for the other one? Yeah, definitely makes sense to pet them, but that one's uh, sound asleep, so I'm not going to try and bother that one. But oh, wait, no, never mind. It's, well, it woke up. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do want to keep one of these eggs, by the way. I, I, I do want to give one of them to Marnie to try and, you know, befriend her and whatnot. But also, yeah, remember, speaking of uh, Marnie, we also bought those two chickens last episode, gave her an egg last episode. Turns out that's one of the things that she actually likes. Because remember, we're trying to actually gain friendship with Marnie. So we can go, in, go inside of her bedroom and actually uh, get the the Mayor Lewis's shorts, purple shorts or whatever. So we could actually use those as like a display item during the fair. That's like, I think tomorrow. We need to go check the uh, calendar, actually see for realsies. Uh, actually, never mind. Yeah, Mayor Lewis is telling us right here. Yeah, boom. Uh, Dear Waffle, I just wanted to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget, <laughs> if only you knew what was happening or potentially is happening. Hopefully we can actually uh, get those purple shorts. Uh, don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. And remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. There you go. I think I said something about Ugh, see you there or be square or something like that last time. But I'm not going to say it this time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do need to also water all the crops and all that kind of stuff. But I do have a couple other things that I want to do. Uh, one of them was, you guys remember the plants over here? You guys were like yelling at me in the comments saying I should not have heckin' picked those those plants that were right there. Were they fairy roses or something like that? Because apparently if you actually get, uh, which by the way, where should we keep this bee thing? Probably like right here, honestly. Probably not a bad place to put it. Hmm, I don't know. It's supposed to be near flowers, but I can't, there are no flowers anywhere nearby. I guess I could keep it there and then it'll be, uh, we could plant more flowers there. But, you know, with this bee tower, I forgot, what, what did we get that from? I forgot where we get that from. Must have been from, oh yeah, it was from a bundle in the community center, right? Yeah. Uh, but that, you know, if we have flowers, bees will like, uh, take the, like, pollen from the flowers and make like really cool honey. And apparently the, the fairy flowers over here, fairy roses, those give you like really, really valuable honey. So we missed out on that, unfortunately. Uh, another thing was yesterday we went over to the uh, museum and actually donated the ancient seeds and I think we had two of them uh, but now I have them uh, no I didn't put them up over there I think I put them up over here but now we have them over here because uh, I'm, I'm not going to plant them until at least spring or you guys said if I get a greenhouse because it takes 28 days to actually grow those so that's going to be really cool we get the plantable version of those which is really cool because we got the recipe in our inventory to actually convert those over to a plantable version where are those at there they are right there and, uh, oh yeah, speaking of my inventory, oh yeah, we have the wild bait. I forgot we got that from Linus. That's really good. We definitely want to try that out. Syracuse, where am, what am I looking for right now? I'm looking for that recycling thing. Where's that at? Oh yeah, we got a loom as well. Pine tar. Oh yeah, I want to go check up on the trees and the taps and all that kind of stuff. See if we actually uh, have anything there. Charcoal kiln. Uh, recycle it. There it is right there. Yeah. 25 stone, 25 wood, and then one iron bar. I definitely want to make that because we have so many like recyclables over here. Like we purposely kept them, right? Uh, what was it? Broken CD, not the soggy newspaper, I think the broken glasses, and maybe something else you guys were saying I could recycle in the recycling machine, so let's actually see if I have the right material, oh yep, uh, let's get 25 stone, how do you get that again? How do you get, to uh, like five at a time, I forget how I did that that one time, uh, whoops, I don't know. Oh, I guess, okay, there you go, I just split them off uh, every now and then, and then there you go, it's down to 25. Okay, that's one way to do it. And then we have nine wood right there, okay. Uh, I do, like I said earlier, I do want to keep that egg in my inventory, so definitely want to keep that. We have a couple other things we need to donate to the community center, one of which you guys were saying was a spice berry jelly right there. Uh, and it is glowing or bouncing over there on the community center thing, I don't know where that would be though, forging, it's probably not forging, right? Uh, yeah, see, that's like pine tar and like maple syrup and uh, oak resin. Uh, no honey there, though. That'd be really good if that was the case. Winter foraging. Uh, we already have that, surprisingly. Crystal fruit, snow yam, and crocus. Crocus. Uh, what else do we have over here? Oh, yeah, by the way, someone said something. Where was it? Minecart's repaired. Yeah. Said I should... But I still... I need to get the fire quartz to actually finish up that. And, uh, this is this is really doable. This is really doable. The only thing that we're missing is, of course, the fire quartz. But you guys are saying, uh, like, if I finish this and get the minecarts repaired thing, we'll actually be able to, like, basically teleport all over the map, and it'll be really easy to kind of go from... Oh, yeah, we don't have any... What am I doing? <laughs> it'll be really easy to go from, I think... There's a minecart thing in the mines. We saw that. I think there's one, like, right outside of my house, like, right here above the bus, bus stop. So I think if we just kind of travel outside of our farm, go to there, we can travel either to the mine thing over there, 
or down to the blacksmith down here and maybe another place, maybe like somewhere over here. I think I mentioned this before, so it seems like some pretty look pretty a good a location so we could fast travel to once we actually have that done. But unfortunately, still haven't gotten the fire crystal thing, even though we did spend another uh, five layers in the mine uh, last episode. Oh, yeah, let's go check them on, by the way, the mushroom thing over here, too. It's 9 a.m. right now. So, uh, you know, you know I'm trying I'm trying to do as much things as possible. Oh, yeah, we have a pretty good amount of mushrooms over here. I'm trying to do as much stuff as possible before sunset. And then also tomorrow is going to be completely full of that fair event. So I don't want to uh, to miss out on opportunities to get some stuff done over here. Right. And I might just pause right now to kind of water all my crops like I've been doing lately. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, should I do? I, you, know, you know what? Yeah, because I'm doing the oh yeah and then we have all those forging items down there we need to harvest but uh because I'm, I'm going to be watering all the crops over there you guys remember last episode i actually mentioned hey we should we should get pumpkins again and, and plant those because i think what was it i think i was trying to get the uh the community center stuff for the pumpkins either that or something else i forgot what it was forging no uh quality crops where is it what was it oh yeah it was quality crops wasn't it whoops that's a bulletin but <laughs> i'm going all over the place what a great yeah see we have Pumpkins, I think we have one gold star pumpkin, so we just need four more. We have some really good money, almost $8,000. I think Pierre is, oh yeah, he should be open today. It is Monday. Let's, let's look at the calendar real quick, by the way, too, just so we can be aware. Oh yeah, Mar yeah, I got comments saying Marnie's birthday is on Thursday, and we already gave her a gift this week. So if we give her an egg today, we won't be able to give her anything for her birthday, unfortunately. But I feel like giving her, yeah, see, oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, right there, it has the green X. Uh, but I feel like getting the purple shorts out of her bedroom before the fair so we could use them during the fair for a funny moment. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more to speak of such. There she is right there, golly. <laughs> I love animals, Mr. Waffle. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. And hey, you know what? I don't need to go over to your farm because boom, you're right here. Gifted. Thank you. And it was a silver star, too. I don't know if that helped or anything right there, but there you go. Oh, yeah. And another thing uh, on top of the whole pumpkin planting pumpkin seeds, which, by the way, 100 right there. We can get so many guys. Which, speaking of such, you guys have been commenting this. I forgot. The, I don't know if I ever brought it up before, but uh, you guys are saying to plant pumpkins, cauliflower and watermelons in like a three by three formation. And then something interesting will happen whenever they actually like grow. I don't know why we need to do that, but I kind of want to test it out anyways, just to see what will happen. So uh, let's buy a bunch of pumpkin seeds and then also the bok choy. Uh, these only take four days to mature, so we can get like four cycles of these, almost four cycles of these uh, before the end of the month and actually get a lot of farming XP. So and it's only 50 per uh, seed right there, so it's not too bad, especially because I have so much money. But pumpkins, how many how many do I want to get? We can put nine and a three by three, which means I need to buy at least nine, but then if I kind of have that off to the side, am I going to buy more pumpkin seeds and maybe get another nine by nine or jeez, I wish <laughs> another three by three, which means another nine. Yeah, let, let's do that. So we'd have two nine by nines. I have I still have six thousand dollars, but I do want to have some room for bok choy. And I might I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to plant any more foraging things. I'm going to plant the bok choy and the pumpkins where all the foraging things are, because those just sprouted or like bare fruit or whatever. So they have a lot of room over there once we actually go uh, harvest those. But we have 30 bok choy right there, which is a uh, five by six area, which I think should encompass all the forging area, if I remember correctly, because they, they whenever you get them from the uh, the forging bundle, they give you 30 seeds. So that should be good for the bok choy. And then, of course, it only lasts four days. So, you know, five days from now or four days from, from now or whatever, we can come back by another 30 and then just kind of do the cycle all over again. Right. But do I want to get more pumpkins? Because I actually read a comment saying, uh, that pumpkins actually take only 13 days to grow. And yeah, you guys were right, right? Where was that? Yeah, right there. It takes 13 days to mature. And today's the 15th. So if I plant them today, they'll be done on the actual last day of fall. So I might as well do it now or never, right? So if I get another nine by nine there, do I just want to get a bunch? I kind of want to. Like if I, if I do this, and I know I'm, I just, I'm just doing that to keep track. But if I, if I get this many pumpkins, I need to remember to water them every single day because I, I cannot miss a day or else I'll miss out on pumpkin growth. So we have, you know what, you know what, let's do four. Four stacks of nine, four three by threes. That should be good. And we still have money for uh, the fair tomorrow, so we can actually buy any souvenirs or whatever else over there. So that should be pretty good. And then a common mushroom. Yeah, you know what, sure, sell that. Why not? Uh, red mushroom. Yeah, sell that too. Get a little bit of money out of that, I suppose, right? Is there anything else I want to get here before I, uh... oh yeah, and then there are the fairy seeds right there. Take 12 days to produce. Um, You know what? 200 apiece. Let's get let's get another thousand of these or another thousand dollars worth. 
because that that gives us a couple days at the end of the month. Was it twelve days? And then amaranth there. Oh yeah, didn't Marta? Someone wanted amaranth. I forgot what it was, but I guess I can get a few of these going. Maybe get another. Maybe get five of those. Boom, and we're down to seventeen hundred dollars. But you know, it, we we could use those in combination with a bee house and actually get some really good honey, and then it'll basically pay for itself. I know these are expensive, but if we just keep those plants there for the. Uh, two days at the end of the month that we'll actually have the plants because they'll be done on the 27th so the 27th and then the 28th and then it starts uh winter uh you know maybe maybe we'll get some good money back i don't know if we'll get our investment back if the heck in 500 or a thousand dollars we spent right there right but hey maybe we'll get a little bit back right uh and hey maybe i don't know how long does it take for a bee to give you honey though it might not be like oh bees are like they're plants right there so you're immediately going to get it probably takes like a day or two before that actually happens right but we got the Marnie done thing, Marnie thing done right there, which is good. But I don't know if that actually updates immediately or yeah. See, that's just one heart. I feel like if tomorrow we check, it might update and it'll be like, oh, it's two hearts now, right? So I feel like that's what's going to happen. Um, but now I have all these seeds. I have a pretty good amount of fertilizer. I don't have enough fertilizer for all the seeds that I have here, though. Uh, remember, I do want to use the fertilizer with the pumpkin seeds so I could actually get the gold star pumpkins for the quality crops bundle. Uh, either that or just wait until next year. And I don't want to do that's probably going to be what what is today? Episode 32 or something like that. It's probably going to be like episode 60 something by the time we have the opportunity to get more uh, pumpkins. Right. So don't want to wait that long. Right. Uh, but either way, what was I doing right there? Uh, I was, oh, yeah, I was about to say I could probably make more quality or uh, quality you no know, basic fertilizer. Yeah, with two sap. I'm sure we have tons of those. Uh, it is 11 a.m. right now, so by the time I'm done watering all the stuff, yeah, see, we have 74 right there. I can make a lot of fertilizer. Uh, whoops, whoops, I'm clicking all over the, <laughs> clicking all over the place. And then I do want to, yeah, cut down a few trees. We get a pretty good amount of wood, and then uh, I'll grab a little bit of, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, this only works. Yeah, hitting shift while crafting. That's how you do five at a time. Forgot about that, yeah. So yeah, let's just turn all that into fertilizer. Boom, 59 right there, not bad. Uh, but I do want to grab, cut down a few more trees, get a little bit more wood, and then we'll be able to make that recycling machine. See what that's all about. Whatever we actually recycle all the uh, broken CDs and broken glasses and stuff. I think you guys said, oh, well, I think I might actually be able to uh, smell some stuff too, by the way. But you guys were saying I can get like quartz or something like that. Whenever I, uh, what was I doing? There we go. Iron and then coal. And then I guess copper as well. But the iron is the one that takes the most time. So I kind of want to get that done, right? Uh, so we just kind of keep that in our hot bar. And I have the watering can already. So we could have that basically done. There you go. And I think all the other chores are basically done for the day as well. Uh, check it up on the cave and all that kind of stuff. Are these done? Let me check up on anything over here that might be, need to be harvested by hovering over. And of course, I harvest all those over there and that'll get us a little bit of room for the forging things. And I might actually, yeah, you know what? See, over here, this is where we have the plants. For, oh, whoops. Uh, this is where we have the flowers and stuff. So this is where we kind of want to till the area here. You guys said it's a, uh, I think it's a five by five. Either you guys said it was a five by five or it's five tiles from the bee house, which means it can go all the way out to here uh, where it like detects flowers and stuff. So we could plant it decently far away. And what's really good is that uh, we, we started cleaning out a little bit over here. I might just need to cut down a couple trees and we'll be able to plant even more stuff there, you guys. So uh, anyways, let me just get a bunch of busy work done over here, planting all the seeds and stuff that we just bought. Then uh, I guess whenever we come back, we can make that recycling machine, maybe make some more taps or something like that, too. Uh, I think that the uh, oh whoops whoops oh, there's a piece of uh, I think that's weed right there someone cleared it up in the uh, last episode saying the weed is the one that you cannot walk through but the tall grass is the one you can walk through so that's really helpful there but uh, let's see yeah yeah I need to get all the uh, all these so oh what's my inventory is full oh, it's because of the torch <laughs> all right there you go uh, and then of course I can stack all these up now yep there you go all right well either way uh, let me just plant all the heckin pumpkins and stuff plant pumpkins and uh, flowers and whatever else. Then I'll see you guys here in just a second and water all the crops too. Don't forget about that, right, golly? Why can't I pick all these up? Is my inventory full again? Yeah, it's full again. What? <laughs> oh, it's good I have like gold star stuff over there. Oh man, that's crazy. Anyways, like I said, uh, yeah, let me plant the flowers here. Just kind of get that done. So these are going to be the fairy flowers. And I think these are the amaranths. And I believe Marnie, it might have been someone else wanted amaranths or how's the, was that it? Yeah, a, oh, one bunch of amaranth. Okay, so yeah, we get that mission done, and it's going to be for Marnie. Hey, that'd be pretty good if we can get it done for her uh, birthday, but I, I think it's going to be a while until uh, her birthday, unfortunately, right? Uh, I guess if anything, we can actually get... Uh, yeah, let's put fertilizer here. There you go. I think someone actually commented saying something like that fertilizer doesn't work if it's, like, pre-planted. It only works whenever you put the fertilizer in while something's already planted. Or, like, something like... Uh, 
Like, this is old fertilizer here. I guess this wouldn't work, maybe? I don't know. I need to read that comment again. But you guys already know the deal. Let me let me keep tending to the crops and stuff over here, and I guess I'll see you guys here in just a bit. We can mess around all of the uh, recycling bin or recycling machine and whatever else, right? So I'll see you guys here in just a sec. I guess back. So yeah, all this over here is all the all the crops that uh all the seeds that I just bought. So what I did was we have a uh, three by three of pumpkin right here, another three by three there, another three by three right here, and another three by three right here. And then in between all those is the bok choy. The reason why I did that is is because uh, instead of putting all the pumpkins like right next to each other, uh, I feel like putting the three by three kind of separated a little bit. That might work out with what you guys are talking about having like some weird thing happening. Uh, with like pumpkins grown together or something like that. I guess they'll get like a tangled or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, by the way, this is done over here. Ooh, pickled eggplant. Ooh, is that a uh, community center thing too? By the way, it's not. Wait, what did I do with the uh, other pickled stuff? Did I put that up somewhere? Did I sell that? I don't think I did. And by the way, it's ten thirty at night already. Golly, I literally spent all day. I can tend into my farm, you guys. Spice berry jelly. Yeah, that that is for the uh, community center. So I guess we could do that. Um, I just don't know if I want to do that today. Maybe I'll do that some other time, but then pickled eggplant, uh, jar of homemade pickles. I don't know what that actually is pickle wise. What was that? What, what could that have been? Oh, yeah, I think it was bok, bok choy, wasn't it? Maybe it was eggplant or something. Then summer spangles, potato. I don't know if we could actually put a potato in there. Maybe it was corn. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we have a lot of corn. Can I do that? Can I put corn in there? Can I have pickled corn? Is that a thing you could do? I guess so. Okay, there you go. <laughs> But yeah, everything over here is water. Everything over here is water. Everything over here is watered as well. I do want to cut down a tree or two. Maybe the tree is right next to my farm. That way we can kind of clean out the uh, farm a little bit. And I'm going to have to eat some of the foraging items here in a bit as well. So I'm almost out of energy. There we go. Boom. 16 wood right there. Perfect. We have exactly enough. Or actually, we have more than enough now for the recycling machine. Awesome. So we're going to try out what that's all about here in just a moment. And then uh, let's eat this. I also got some comments of you guys saying the uh, Maki roll is another thing for the community center. I think I said that earlier on, but I forgot to, uh, to mention it. I guess I can go inside and actually show you guys uh, because it's not like we have any time to do anything else out here, right? So I guess we can get the machine or the recycling machine. Where do we want to put that? Do we put that here? Kind of want to. Sure, why not? Hey, eh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Pick that up. Yeah, there you go. Just whack it with my <laughs> almost said sledgehammer right there, but pickaxe. I guess we put it right there and then we put like CDs or something of that inside there. I don't know. By the way, so I have two chests right here for gold star or silver star items just because this got completely filled up. And yep, there's our gold pumpkin right there uh, just because this one got filled up. So I decided to do that there. And then over here is where the food is. I don't know what color I want to do to represent food. Like what 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 color do I think it what, like what color makes me hungry? I guess you could say. Maybe, and what color have we not used too? Maybe red to be like, I can catch up or something like that. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I guess. And then this one's like stuffs. I don't. I don't know what to put in here. I guess. I guess we can just keep it default. So there you go. But this does have the broken CD and the broken glasses. I do want to see what happens. What if we put that in there, right? Oh, okay. So you have to wait. I thought it was like an instant thing. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> But I guess I'll put those back up over here. So there we go. Then, uh, yeah, we're smelting coal outside. I guess I can continue doing that. It's midnight right now. I might as well go to bed. God, Lee literally spent all day with a heckin' farm today. You guys, it's insane. But at least we got the, uh, heckin' recycling machine. We got all the heckin' plants, cr or crop, crops planted. God, Lee. <laughs> then, uh, what do we have over here? There you go. More copper right there. Then copper bars, clay. Put that up as well. Spice berry gel. Oh, yeah, we have a thunder egg. We need to go give it to Gunther. Then uh, I guess we put those up. I don't know why I have those still. Put the other stuff up over there and the sap. Oh, I guess I could have got uh, more, not uh, fabricator, <laughs> more uh, fertilizer out of that. Whoops. But uh, I think we're pretty well set. Now, whenever we wake up, and by the way, I guess we can check up on what the weather is. Oh, yeah. Isn't it like always going to be like sunny on a event day? Yeah, it's always going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Fair. I wonder if it could ever rain on that. It might be like hard coded in the game to never rain during a fair, right? Unless it's like a fair, like a special event or something like that, right? Uh, the event will take place in Pelican Town starting from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Don't be late. Okay, let's not forget about that, you guys. Definitely do want to go check up on Marnie's like friendship points and whatnot to see if we're actually good enough friends with her to get the heckin' purple shorts out of her bedroom. Oh, wait. Oh, it gave me. Is that refined? Qu it is. Ooh, I thought it was just quartz you guys are talking about. Ooh, that changes things. Oh, and by the way, you guys are saying Marnie likes diamonds and stuff like that. I think we had diamonds earlier on, but I think we gave that to the uh, museum. We don't have any just diamonds just laying around. And if even if we did, I'm pretty sure I would have sold them by now, right? 
Uh, but the, yeah, there's the monkey roll. So we can go give that to the community center, I believe, right? Yep, it's bouncing up there. But where would that be? Probably fish tank or something like that, right? Like, I, I can only imagine. Like, that's the only one that... Oh, well, these are all just actual fish, not like fish pro... Yeah, so there's nothing fish related there, so that kind of sucks. And then, yeah, this is just money. Chef's bundle. Oh, yeah, it is chef's bundle. Ooh. Maple syrup, poppy. I think we have poppies. Do we have any poppies just left over? I don't know. Fried egg, truffle. How do you get truffles? Is that... Can you get truffles from the mushroom cave? Maybe. I feel like truffles are the type of mushroom you find, like, out in the wild. I, I didn't think you'd find them, like, in, you know, like, outside and stuff like that. Wow, a lot of eggplants right there. Didn't think that was, like, one you'd find in caves and stuff like that. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The chickens are so, so, wait, hold on. They're all adults now. Oh, yeah, you know what? I did get comments saying, um, before I get too good of a relationship with these chickens, and, uh, therefore they'll stop laying small eggs and start laying large eggs. Uh, saying I need to sell one brown and one white egg, uh, so we could actually get progress on an achievement, I believe, right? What would that be? Cowpoke clicks? Moving up? Oh, we're probably going to get that pretty soon. Crafted. It was something about shipping different items. Yeah, here we go. Ship 15 of each crop, which I guess eggs count as a crop, or 300 and every item. Oh, that's probably what it is right there. Full shipment. Uh, and then donate 40. Golly, I wonder how good a progress we are with that, because we have a lot of things inside of the museum, but there you go. So there's the mayonnaise. Let's put that there, and then we'll put this one here, and then we'll sell the Silver Star one and the uh, regular brown one right there. We get some good money out of that, right? We have a lot of eggplants done, and uh, wow, look at all these over here. This farm is huge, you guys. This is amazing. I love this. Anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh, whoops. I uh, want to go over here and then sell these. There we go. Then what I want to do is go to the community center for that and that, and then sell the mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, that, that should be good. Um, I do want to water my crops and stuff with like that, though, just because I know during these events, like, like the events literally last all- Oh, whoops, shouldn't have done it that direction. See, this is why I need to do this off camera. Uh, but let, let me harvest all these real quick. But these events take literally all day, like, we'll go to the event, and then whatever the event's over, it's like 10pm or something like that, right? And that's only going to be like 3 minutes or 3 hours or whatever. Uh, of time for us to actually water everything in. With all these crops that we have nowadays, like, this is way too much. We, we cannot do this in, like, three minutes or something like that. It, that's why I pause. Because <laughs> it takes so long, and I, I need to kind of concentrate on all the, uh, the crops that we're kind of watering to make sure I get everything watered. Oh, yeah. If we have till 3 p.m. and we need a community center and whatever. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to Marnie's Ranch right now. Actually, you know what? Let, let's go. Let's check this. All right, pause. Ah, oh, she better not. Oh, she's only one heart right there. Man, so we can't do this? We can't do the meme of, of, of giving, uh, using the purple shorts, Mayor Lewis's shorts during the fair? I guess not, huh? I don't know, maybe we can talk to her? I doubt talking to her will, will up her relationship thing there. Man, and then of course her birthday's after the event too. Ah, man, we're gonna have to wait until next year to do it then. Or, I don't know, we might not be able to do it anyways, because I kind of want to get that purple shorts mission done anyways. Maybe maybe his shorts will be missing for an entire year and a half or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But it's 9.40 p.m. right now. Do I want to continue watering everything over here? I mean, like, with that new strategy... Well, it's not really new. It's pretty good, though. But with that strategy of me watering everything over here, I'm able to water a lot of crops at once. So, yeah. You know what? Because we can't get Marnie's... Heckin's, uh... Get the shorts out of Marnie's ranch. Golly, you can tell him. Trying to multitask over here, not doing that great of a job. <laughs> this is why I've been pausing lately. But uh, before we leave, I guess we can get a bunch of gold star uh, and even iridium. We could use that iridium fish uh, to use as like display items for the, uh, the fair. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to get those before we actually go to the community center. That way we already have them. And then we can go from the community center to the fair. And uh, we're almost out of water. Man, it's 1040 right now. Yeah, I think we should still be able to do this. We have we have enough time, I believe. And I didn't even pause right there, so hopefully I didn't miss it. Oh, I, I can see a couple I missed. I can see a couple I missed over there on the left. But I'm almost out of energy. Uh, here's one. Here and probably... Whoops, whoops, there's nothing even there. Uh, I think that, that's probably about as good as that's going to get, honestly. <laughs> Let me put all the other um, regular eggplants, put those up over there. Then we can go to the community center here in just a minute. Uh, let me drop off some stuff. There we go. And there we go. I don't think I'm going to need to cut down any trees anytime soon. Uh, but I'm like, I like keeping that there anyways, right? Let's go in here. Let's go see what uh, gold star items we could actually use 
for this bear. So, uh, wow, that stacked up with, like, everything there. So we have corn. That's good. Yam. What do we... And I assume we get these back, right? So we have the red snapper right there, the iridium red snapper. We have... I think it's set up to nine items we could take, right? So we could use that. We could use the hot pepper, so that'd be two. What is another rare... I... I, I kind of want to use the pumpkin. So I assume if we use the pumpkin, we'll still get it back and all the kind of stuff, right? We'll, we'll be able to give it to the community center. So we could do that. But these are all, like... So we have fish, we have crop there, crop there. Let's get a foraging item. So we have hazelnut there, wild plum. And you know what? From different parts of the year, too. Uh, cranberries, bok choy, fairy... I'm like, there's silver star. Summer span... There you go. Gold star, summer spangle. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we need four more items. Oh, spice berries. So there you go. That's six or whatever. We need three more items. Oh, and this one. Oh, gold star right there. Man. Is there anything else? Like, what else could I bring? I, I guess we can start bringing some Silver Star things, just kind of get some more variety, so we have fish. Do we have any other fish? I don't think we do. Hot peppers. I don't know why I'm bringing so many of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need three more. We have the plum already. Oh, well, no, we don't have the plum. There you go. And, like, cranberry. And one more. One more. Bok choy. But I'm like, I don't want to get... Do we have the corn? We don't have the corn. Okay, so there we go. Gold Star corn. Hops. You know what, let's do hops instead of, hmm. I'm like, I feel like because we get multiple things from a cranberry thing, so obviously we'll have more. It's not quite as valuable, I guess you could describe it as. Hops, I think you just get one at a time, and that's from the summer. So that'd be a pretty good variety. We don't have very many things from the springtime, by the way. Melon, I think that's from, I think, is that from spring? I, ah, oh man, I don't remember. <laughs> Tomato there. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think anything we had from spring we sold because it was so early on. I wouldn't I wouldn't keep in all the silver star and all, all that kind of stuff, right? I, I think I'm going to get hops. So there it goes. We have hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine items, right? Nine items are right there. Let's put up the, uh, the copper there. And then uh, we're not going to go to the museum. We just don't have enough time to go to the museum. So forget about that uh, idea, all right? Uh, so from the community center, it's 1130 right now. I think, oh wait, it's taking place in Pelican, like right here, isn't it? So, if I go here, it starts to, yeah. So I can't even go to the community center even if I wanted to. <laughs> so here we go, so we have a bunch of tents set up for this fair event, what is this? This Pierre right here? Trade in your star tokens for prize, do I have any? I guess not, jeez, 100, fedora, rare, cro ooh. Collect them all, one of eight, ooh, star drop. Oh, don't we have that? I feel like we have a star drop. Oh, that's where our money is, by the way, or stars or whatever. Or it's like a star seed or something like that. Some star thing that we got, and I think we read about it, it was like ancient alien fruit or something, some meme. <laughs> Dried sunflower fedora. I don't know. Sounds like we're going to be playing a bunch of games. Oh, wait, who is this? Are you strong like me? Smash stone. Okay, how strong am I? Can I do that? Whoa! Strength level, gorilla! <laughs> Whoa! That's kind of surprising there, man. I'm like, I did use a heckin' pickaxe. I don't know if that's cheating. My story carries the very finest quality of products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely, and you'll see for yourself. Okay, so is that mine right there that's empty? I assume so. So that's Pierre's. That's Marnie's with the cheese and the, 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 the cloth. I guess that's right there, and then eggs. I guess that, yep, there's Willie right there with his fish. Cool, so yep, that's gotta be mine right there, empty. Uh... Let's see. So I guess I'm competing against Pierre and Marnie and all them. So how do I do this? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Here it is right here. Okay. So you know what? I kind of want to put the... Uh, can I customize, like, where it go? Oh, yeah, I can. Kind of want to put the Iridium Fish, like, right here, front and center, so everyone can see it. Because that's our best thing. It's above Gold Star, right? So there you go. Red Snapper there. And you know what? A flower. Where do I want to put this? I mean, I'll put this, like, right here. Actually, yeah. Where would I? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's put some foraging things right next to it. So there you go, spice berry and plum. Then uh, hops and corn, pumpkin. Maybe we'll put a big old pumpkin in the middle. <laughs> there you go. Uh, giant hazelnuts, golly. Uh, oh, I have seven of them, whoops. Where I wanna put those? I'll put them like right here. And then the hops. Mm, I don't know, I'll put the flower at the top, I guess. Top, top center, so there you go. Fiery hot pepper. Put that there. Corn. I guess if we put that there and then hops. Oh, whoops. Did I? 
put multiple corn in there? I think I did. Whoops. But there we go. So that's my display right there, right? Yep, there it is right there. Wow, look at that. Hey, Marnie, what do you think about my stuff? I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. Yeah, pretty weak compared to his, and his is pretty weak compared to mine. Not bragging. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, uh, Willie, what do you have to say about this, Willie? Are you setting up a Grange display waffle? Yeah, I just got done setting mine up, and it has a pretty good variety of different uh, stuff, too. Not just fish, not just crops, not just, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess I could have brought eggs and stuff like that, but I... You know, we've been selling all those and uh, gifting them and all that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, it would... I, if I had any, like, Silver Star eggs, I would have brought it, but I think we gifted it to, uh... Whatever her name is, whoops. But, yeah, a pretty good variety, nonetheless, I'd say. What is he saying? Uh, it's your chance to show off all the good produce from French toast. Huh, ah, it is. Wait, who's this? Wait, what? Tourist. Oh, I was about to say, did heckin... What was her name? The Amethyst girl? Did she, like, get a new uh, outfit right there? Because that does not look like her at all. Wow, that is the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. Yeah, look at how cute. That's, like, the size of Marnie in general. Like, the size of her actual body. <laughs> that's huge. Who else? Uh... Oh, Caroline completely missed a... There you go. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. Hey, me too. I've been I've been setting aside a lot of different things, not just produce, so. Wait, what in the world is look at that little kid? He's got a little lollipop or something right there. What is that? Tourist. I was on a long bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it. Don't you, Simon? Oh hey, there's Abigail. That's what I was thinking of right there. What do you think about this, Abigail? I already beat all the games. Now what? Uh, go get some prizes. Oh wait, what is there? what's this? I was about to say, like, was there stuff I was able to get there? Now, are these these are games, right? So I could actually play these. Do I need money to play these? Play the slingshot. Yep, yep, 50 gold. Golly. Um, I don't know how much. How do I check? Leave? I didn't say. Oh, wait. Oh, I've got 1741. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we have enough money. Play the slingshot game and win star tokens. So how do we do this? Let's see. What is this? Oh, gosh. Look at this huge room I'm in right now. Boom. Oh, wait, one the roll. Wait. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> there you go. Hit that. There you go. Boom. Whoa, those are... Oh, all the way back there. Oh, man, missed. Ah, oh, man, I need to anticipate where the... Ah, uh, where it's going to be. I'm missing. So how do you win? Do you just get a much more points or something like that? Oh, wait, hold on. We have 28, 26 seconds. Looking all the way at the top. Oh, whoa. What the world? I missed those. Oh, wow, we can get... Multiple at a time. Wow, look at that. Amazing. They're just kind of giving it to me here at the very end because I was terrible at the beginning. <laughs> oh, let's get these. Hurry up. Boom, boom. I missed. I missed again. Oh, hey. Oh. Let's heck and go. Oh. Oh, my gosh. If I can get multiple at a time here, that'd be really good. But my accuracy is at 72. Not bad. Score is 65. Don't mind if I do. How many uh, stars are we going to get out of that? 26 hours, 37 successful shots. No accuracy bundle or, or bonus. Whoops. 50 star tokens right there. Not bad. So we spent 50 gold to get 50 star tokens right there, I guess. Can't complain about that. What do you have to say about this, Alex? I played the strength game too many times. And now my arms feel like rubber. Did we get any money from that? I don't think we did. Hold on. Does this guy owe me money for being a gorilla strength guy? Are you strong like me? Smash stone. Can I do that again? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Nah, I did worse that time. Strength level ox. Not bad. Was the best? Was Gorilla the best? Did I really get that on the first? Whoa, look at that giant banner up there. Well, Mayor Lewis, I guess I guess today, this year is your good year. You're, you're not going to have to be embarrassed about having your heckin' underwear on display. Yeah, but uh, next year, you can't really say that because we're definitely going to have your underwear on display next year, right? Well, Waffle, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. And, uh, if you'd like to participate by setting up your Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Yeah, I already figured that out. Just let me know if you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. Okay, well, I have set everything up, but I'm not going to start it just yet, because I want to play some games. <laughs> so what else do we have over here? So we, we played that. Oh, wait, what in the world is this guy? Step right up, pick a color, and place your bet for a chance to double your wager. Ooh, orange or green? I don't want to play. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do green, just because I like green. Green is my favorite color. Let's do star tokens. How many do I... You know what? You know what? We, get, we just won 50. Should I, should, hey, let's do half. Let's do 25 right there. Maybe we'll get another 50 back. That'd be really good. We'll be up to 75. Oh, oh, oh. Winner. Hey. Awesome. I was about to say, like, is this a scam? Is it always going to be orange because of gravity? But I guess not. <laughs> so there you go. We're up to 75. Awesome. Penny, what do you think about this event here? I won the Wheel of Chance 10 times in a row. And now the man won't let me play anymore. <laughs> 
Just like in the casinos, if you win too much, they'll kick you out. Tourist is a fine looking town you got here. Nice and cozy and a real sense of community. Hey, thanks. We're, we're doing a great job. But like, I really do get that sense of community here. It's such a nice town, such a nice area. I guess to describe it as uh, selling star tokens for just 50 gold a piece. Wait, what? I could just buy them? So, hold on. So I could buy that rare mannequin or whatever that was over there? That's like one of eight. If I if I exchange. How many do I have? Right? 725. I think it was 800, right? 725 gold, four star tokens. I don't know. I kind of want to win them, right? Kind of want to that, That's where the fun is. Who's this guy? Taurus is a fine looking town. You got, oh, yeah. Yeah, I talked to that guy just a second ago. <laughs> Forgot about that. So what was this fish guy right here? What's this? Try your hand at some fishing. You could win. Hey, I'm pretty good at fishing, I think. <laughs> 50 gold right there. All right. So is it just fishing minigame? Maximum right there. Nice. And... Oh! Oh, oh, it, it was an immediate, like, immediate bite right there. I didn't see that. And there you go. Boom. Hit. And let's stay on the fish. Hopefully get a perfect. Just, oh, I missed. I messed it up again. I need to use the keyboard. It seems like it. Oh, whoa, whoa. An actual fish? Or is that a fake fish? Oh, hold on. We have a minute and a half or something like that to do this. Boom. Another hit. Oh, here we go. I'm using the keyboard this time around. Seems like we had more luck in the past using the keyboard instead of the... Boom. Perfect right there. Nice. Whoa, another fish. Do we actually get to keep those? I feel like they're props. Like, fake plastic fish. Well, then again, how are they biting on? Oh, what? <laughs> That's probably a real driftwood right there, right? But how are they biting onto the heckin' fishing pole, right? Or the bobber or whatever. Fish hook. And boom. Another hit right there. Whoa. Is this an evasive fish right here? No, it seems relatively easy. Staying towards the bottom. And another perfect. Awesome. So our score is 41. I didn't see what that was right there. Uh, 40 seconds left, though. Can I get, like, three more? That'd be oh, whoops! Ah, I misclicked. If I can get three more, that'd be really, really good. Ah, man. Like, maybe get a score of 100 or something like that. That'd be really cool. I d oh, here we go. Boom. Oh, what? Man, this one's staying at the bottom. I messed it up. I'm not going to... Oh, I'm not going to get a per... Whoa, whoa, look at this one moving. But he's basically staying at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. Yep. There we go. Okay. 88, 15 seconds left, 14 seconds. I can definitely do it because I'm pretty sure it pauses the game whenever you're doing the fish mini game. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can definitely get 100. Come on, let's get a score of 100. So if, if that happens, do we get 100 coins or what? Because that'd be really good. And another fish right there. Awesome. And time's out. Okay. What do we get? We got a score of 104. Awesome. Fish caught five. Wow! 164 perfection bonus reward, 324 star. Wow! You can get some really good money during this fair, you guys. What? Holy, and there's a clown over here. What do you have to say about this, Jody? I know I forgot about your birthday last week. Uh, I had a whole thing where I had to kill a bunch of bugs. I forgot about your birthday. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. I'm like, he's a clown. He's supposed to look sad because it's kind of funny to see a sad clown. <laughs> it's also sad to see it, too. It's also pretty scary, too, especially on Halloween time, right? Making clowns, spooking everyone. You know, I... W oh, wait, who is this again? Emily. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. Oh, yeah, you probably could make a good clown. Me too, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on. Oh, Demetrius. I didn't see him right there. Robin really works hard for the carpentry stuff. She deserves... Oh, yeah, she probably set up everything over here. All the tents and stuff with that. I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, she deserves a little recognition now and then. Yeah, I agree. There she is right there. Yep, she's got a whole, like, set up over here. A heckin' tree she cut down. Did you really cut down a tree right there? Oh, no, that must be a statue or something like that, it looks like, right there, yeah. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be a part of. Yeah, that's true, that's pretty cool. What about you, Leah? I really admire Robin's carpentry carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Oh, okay, that's cool. What does she do again? Doesn't she, like, live out in the woods or some meme? I forget. And then uh, we have this guy. I completely forgot about the Adventures Guild guy. Marlin completely got his name, too. Clint's blades get sharper every year. That's good. He's getting experience and speaking to stuff. Oh, wow. Is he selling stuff? Oh, yeah. He's got his own display over here. Does he sell anything? I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. Oh, could I have put, like, gold ingots, copper and stuff like that in there, too? And, like, weapons? I probably could have. Man, I don't know. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. That'd be really cool if I could. Maybe put my old sword or something like that over there. And there's the wizard right there. Did I miss anything over here, by the way? Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't even talk to the clown over here. Whoops. Uh, what do you have to say about this clown guy? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> He's just bouncing a ball and holding a bunch of balloons. Wow. Anyways, let's go talk. Oh, whoa, was that a magic or a fortune teller? Or what? What is this? Ah, uh, yes, my crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. Read my fortune for 100 gold. 
I'm like, we get the whole fortune teller meme on TV for free every day, but you know, let's do it. Oh, maybe this is the person from the TV show. Ooh, but they're here in person. You know what? Let's do it. Ah, yes, it's Demetrius' birthday. He thought everyone forgot, but then you show up with a nice gift. What a good friend. Now I see you and Penny in a field of grass. You seem happy. Ooh, are we getting married or something? The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Is she alluding to the killing the bugs meme that we just got done doing? I think so. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now, just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Now, I feel like she said that about Penny with us, like, frolicking fields and stuff like that, because she's at the- Yeah, she's at the top of my friendship list, that's why. And then Demetrius right there, I guess because he had a birthday... Oh, it was last month, last season there. Uh, but was I really the only one that gave him a birthday present? If so, that, that kind of sucks. What do we give him? Did we give him something good for his birthday? I, I hope we didn't just give him a heckin' potato or something. <laughs> I'm like, if any, I'm like, he likes it, so maybe he would, maybe that's still good, but at the same time, like, imagine getting a potato for your person. <laughs> uh, it's old and faded. Wait, what? What's old and faded? Oh, I was about to say, the heckin' wizard? Really? Oh, the, oh, I think I clicked on the heckin' headstone right there. <laughs> I, I was about to say, like, I clicked on the wizard and it says he's old and faded. That is savage as heck. Well, we and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Okay, so you and the fortune teller over there. Wellwick. Was that- is that the fortune teller from the TV? I can't remember. Oh, uh, we didn't even read the fortune thing on the TV. I, I bet if- I bet if we did the fortune teller thing on TV, it would have been like, Meet the fortune teller in person at the Stardew Valley Fair. That's probably what it would have been, right? Uh, Sebastian, it's kind of hectic today. I'm going to go hang out here for a while. Okay, I'm like, it makes sense. You can get, you can get, oh, what in the world? We have actual livestock over there for us to look at. What? Hey, Waffle, having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a good time. What about you, Sam? The slingshot tent is pretty fun. If you get good at it, you can really rack up some star tokens. Yeah, same thing with the fishing. I got a lot, like 300 something right there. That was really good. What about you, Shane? All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. All right. I'm like, I'm not going to be the one massaging them, right? <laughs> you can massage them all you want. You probably have experience because you literally live on a farm, right? Uh, Vincent over here. Moo! <laughs> What about you, Jazz? What do you have to say about these? Oh, a hen pecked him. What? <laughs> That's a lawsuit incoming right there. A hen pecked at her little finger. Hopefully your finger's still intact and not like literally pecked off or else I'm going to go over there to Harvey and see if he can sew her finger back on. <laughs> Just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. <laughs> That's savage as heck. I bet that, that pig right there is probably smelling the pork ribs and thinking it smells amazing. But little does he know, it's literally his own brethren that smells so good. <laughs> what about you, Linus? These animals never judge people by their looks. The same can't be said for humans. I'm like, they can't speak English or anything like that. You never know. <laughs> Maybe that pig is looking at you being like, hmm, if only I can grill him on a barbecue. <laughs> You never know! You, you never know! Except for like that one monkey. Isn't there like one monkey or like a gorilla or something like that? That they actually trained to like basically play with like pictures of things and, and communicate that away? I guess that's the closest way for a like, monkey to be a savage and say how delicious you look to him or something. I don't know. <laughs> so we start to- okay, so this is, yeah, okay, this is the one where you buy the star- I don't want to do that right now. Was that all the games though? There weren't really that many. There was the fishing one and then Clown undo. Oh yeah, and then there's this this guy right here. I don't know. We can get some good money out of that. I don't know if I want to bet too much. You know, we did green last time. Let's do orange now. And how much are we going to do? Can I just type that in there? I can. Okay. I'm gonna do a hundred there. Let's wager a hundred on orange. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, man, we lose. Golly. I'm gonna have to go fishing and get more money back. You know what? I try. To, I kind of want to try the slingshot again. Hey, let's try that again, because, like, I didn't really understand how it worked at first, so, uh, can I move around, by the way? Oh, I can't. Oh, missed. Whoops. Hey, got it. Got it. Nice. Getting a few of these, not bad. There you go, boom. Boom. The one in the background, awesome. And, oh, man, a really good accuracy. Ah, never mind, gone. Oh, there you go, got those. Ah, missed. Got it. Uh, missed. Oh, man. At least I'm able to call out whenever. Oh, wow, we got two of them right there. Amazing. Oh, let's get these two. Wait, ah, that, wait, did that break? It looked like it did. 
Look, I broke it, the, uh, the purple one just a second ago. That'd be really good if so. Uh, let's try and get all these. Try and get those two up. No, purple ones, purple ones. Boom. Yes! Is that it? Oh, oh, time is almost out. Okay, the the final wave of things to hit here. Can we get... Oh, I almost got three of them right there at once. That would have been amazing. Wow, got that one at the last second. 83 score with an 88% accuracy. Not bad. Are we going to get a bonus? 36 out of 42 successful shot. Times two accuracy multi. Not bad. 150 star tokens. Not bad at all. Don't mind if I do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll try and get... Hmm, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I want to do the fishing again. We did all the games, didn't we? Did I miss out on anything? I don't know. Can I actually go into here and see what Gus is up to? Did, if he's actually making those ribs and stuff with that? I guess not. Is there anything else happening anywhere else? Is, uh, yep, that's shut off over there. See, I feel like... I, oh, and that's shut off over there. Okay. I feel like I feel like we didn't talk to everyone. Maybe we have... I don't know. It just feels like there's people we haven't talked to. Because there's like 30 or so people. Or like 28, 27, something like that in heckin' Pelican Town over here we know of. We had to do that one mission to literally greet everyone. I feel like we haven't met everyone here at the, at the fair. Wait, can I actually leave? I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't know what happened if I actually did end up leaving right there, golly. Uh, oh, jeez, this is all kind of blocked off. Whoops. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what is her name right there? Pam. I didn't talk to you yet. Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes out every last longer out of that tent. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I got a lot of fish just a minute ago, so I wouldn't be saying that too soon there. Oh, whoops. I wouldn't be saying that too soon there, Pam. I might I might beat you to it. <laughs> Let's go over here to the shop, though. I I'm kind of interested in that uh, rare crow. I'm kind of interested in that. For 800. So I I'd have to trade in with 449 right now. I need to trade in 351 to actually get that rare crow. Bye. Three. Whoops. Uh, three, five, one. Wait, what in the world? Hey, wait, oh, oh how, how, hold on. One star token for 50 gold? Okay, never mind. I thought it was a one-to-one -one that I can trade there, but I guess not. Uh, golly. I don't know. Maybe we can do the fishing again. Just because I'm like, we are somewhat close. 449. We could definitely do the fishing again. I don't know if I'll end up doing it on camera, but... Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. What? Do not... <laughs> do not fish that way. What in the world's wrong with me? Here we go. Here we go. Come on. And boom. Oh, what? Never mind. Green out. <laughs> And boom. There you go. Now, if only there was like a whirlpool over here to get some really good fish like we had over in the ocean. And boom. Hit. And let's stay on that fish. Try and get some perfects. There you go. Let's try and... Stay. Oh, man. It messed up my perfect there. Yeah, if that didn't happen right there, I definitely would have gotten perfect. Golly. Let's try it again. Currently at uh, a m about a minute remaining, so we have plenty of time, it seems. And boom. Awesome. Oh, oh, man, that messed up my perfect right there. We almost had it. Oh, I'm still doing pretty well, though. There you go. Another fish right there. Nice. 39 score. If I can get over 100 again, we're going to get, like, what, 300 or something dollars? Uh, so we're actually going to be pretty close to that 800 for the rare crow thing. So that'd be pretty cool. If anything, that's, that's the main reason I'm doing these. Oh, man, I messed up the perfect right there. And the fish isn't even moving. It's literally standing still, and I messed it up. <laughs> that's embarrassing. And... Hey, okay, we're at 63 with about 30 seconds left. I don't know if we'll be able to get over 100. There you go, another one right there. Maybe if I can get a perfect here. That'd be, oh, that'd be really good. Oh, nah, man, I messed it up again. I think if you have a higher fishing skill, doesn't that make your fishing, like the gold or the, the green bar, doesn't that make that bigger and make it easier for you to actually catch things? Or you, like, get perfects and stuff? I think so. Oh, man, I messed it up again. It's barely even moving. What in the... Pff barely moving until at the very end where it just... Oh, there you go. Jumps up the screen. Uh, now can I do it? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, hit. Oh, oh pff, messed, it, messed it up again. Stop it, it's bouncing. There you go. Oh, the green bar definitely has like momentum and, and weight and stuff like that. Making it really difficult. Whenever you can start off by bounce. There you go, okay. We did go over 100 at the very end there. I think that might be a better score than we got last time. 118. I think we had like 106 or 104 or something like that. No perfection bonus, unfortunately. Would that give us double points or something like that last time? 144 star tokens, not bad. 593. Do I want to try again with this guy? Maybe give him another 100? Put on green again? I'm like, we do, it was green twice. Maybe it's going to be orange now, finally? I don't know. Do another 100. If we do that, it's going to be 693, and we're going to be really, really close, so... Let's, tr let's try it on orange. Come on. It's going to go on orange. It is... NOT! What?! That sun is right on the edge! Man! Ah! 
Do I want to keep trying? Maybe, maybe I'll try this over here. Seems like we had a lot of luck. I don't know if I want to keep doing this on camera here. I kind of want to cut it out, but I'm like, it's only like what? Like a minute to do these games anyways? It's not that big of a deal to... Here we go. Oh, there we go. You know what? Oh yeah, you don't have to hold it down. You just have to point, right? Oh yeah, you do, because you, you have to hold it down for the slingshot to actually kind of... There we go, to kind of charge up. I was about to say, like, it could just point and click and that's it, but no. You kind of have to have a little bit of strategy. There we go. To hold down the slingshot, pull it back, and then... Fire. There we go. I can get multiple shots. Oh, here we go. Purple. Purple. Awesome. I think those give you more points, right? There you go. Get those in the front. Wow, we're getting really good hits right here. Nice! Man, that was awesome. Okay, only one more. Oh, purple. Purple. Awesome. Oh, man! Got it! There at the last second. Nice. And got it. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss out on a couple. No! No, man! Oh, I'm try I was trying to line up a few of them there, but it didn't work. 90 score with 80-something accuracy. What was that? 88? Not bad. And... Times two accuracy multiplier. Okay, so we're up to 180 right there. And then a 164 star tokens. Okay, so we're up to 657. Kind of want to do that one more time. If we do that one more time successfully, we might be able to get the money to get, heck get the heck and rare crow. Golly! Started talking like a billion miles a, mi miles a minute, right? What? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> trying to heck and mo- Oh, whoops! Trying to multitask here. I'm talking out my butthole. Hey, oh, wow, that sounds disgusting. But I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to multitask and slingshot and make sure my accuracy doesn't go down too much. There you go. Come on. Try and line these up in there. Oh, there you go. Purple, purple. There you go. Got a really good hit right there. Not bad. Wow, a lot of hits there. Amazing. And awesome. And oh, purple, purple. No, how that not hit? Ah, man. No. Ah, man. It's messing up my accuracy. Every time I shoot and it doesn't hit anything, it's messing it up. I assume, does the accuracy go up if you get, like, multiple at a time, maybe? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get that there at the end. It was already, he already whistled. Ah, uh, 78%. Probably not going to get a double this time, right? Oh, 1.5. Not bad. 114 start. Not bad. Not bad. Can't complain. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's go back to this guy. We only need 29 more. Let's, let's do another one on heckin'. Let's do an orange. Come on. About time, right? 29 on orange. Try to get the heckin' uh, rare crow thing. I don't want to have to go to heckin' fishing again. Oh, yes! Holy heck, 800 exactly. Let's heckin' go, waiters. Let's go get that rare crow. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk to Mayor Lewis and we can actually initiate the judging of the items. I guess you can describe it as, right? So there you go, collect them all, one of eight. So, uh, yeah, let's get that one right there, boom. Wait, what did that just say? Oh, there's more stuff, oh, I didn't see. Man, oh yeah, someone said something about a triple shot. I think there was like a recipe for triple shot espresso in from in, in Gus's uh, saloon, right? But I think I'd need a kitchen to actually do that first, right? I think. Uh, but it gives you eight energy, three speed, and then it gives you plus one speed. But I don't know how long that lasts. Someone also said to use a uh, hot pepper poppers or something like that. And that apparently lasts like basically all day and you'll be able to move all around the town super fast. Uh, I, might, I might end up stocking up on a bunch of coffee from Gus just to kind of have it. Uh, I don't know how, how much it costs, but I guess we'll have to see later, but I can't afford anything else. We did get the Rare Crow, though, which is kind of what I wanted. That's kind of why I spent so much time getting all the stars and stuff like that. So there you go. I'm pretty much done here. I assume there's nothing else we missed out on, right? Uh, or you already finished setting up your grant? Yeah, I am. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start. Let's see. Did I get a better score than anyone else? Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. We have to actually follow him over there. I thought a cutscene was about to happen. Come on. Let's start judging all the stuff as I'm trying to push him out of the way. Hurry up! Oh, I'm, st <laughs> I'm stopping him! No, I'm not ready, I'm not ready! Oh, wait, no, now he's judging Pierre's. Whoops. Oh, no, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready! <laughs> he's just staring at me! Uh, you gonna move? I can't see all your crops with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go, man. <laughs> Alright, he's looking, he's judging. Okay, there you go. Marnie, what do you think? He's right there, he's staring at all your, your giant cheese wheel and your giant cloth things and... What about that, Willie? He's staring, judging you. Oh, is he going back for seconds to see, to look at Pierre's again, look at mine again? Oh no, he only had to take one look at everything right there. Okay, professional. Your Grange display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the results. Uh-oh. This feels like it got called to the principal's office or something right there. <laughs> All right, there you go. Hey, 
Hey, not bad. You won second place with a rating of 88. What? Who could have had a better score than me? Oh, and by the way, you didn't uh, judge Clint down there. So I guess you can't use like iron and gold and stuff like that like I thought you could. I guess he was just down there trying to show stuff off even though it's not a part of the competition for him. I don't know. Either way. Hey, not bad. You. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Whoops. Your prize is 500 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Ooh. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. All right. Do I have to manually get them back or what? I think so. Oh, no, okay. I thought it, like after he judged, like that'd be the end of it. But thankfully, we do get the stuff back, which is good. Uh, but we got 500 star tokens right there. Not bad. But what do we do with that? Can you like cash that in to get money? Oh, I think you can, can't you? Leave? Selling star tokens for 50 apiece. Yeah, you can't, you can't cash them in to get money. You can only cash them in for prize. Oh, man. So what can I get with 500? Do I want to save up and try to get something else too? Because I'm like, we got the rare crow, which is good. Like green rug. I can get the espresso now, but I'm like 400 there. That's, that's pretty expensive. I can get a fedora. Am I wearing a hat right now, by the way? I guess I'm not. I guess I could. Yeah, we never bought a hat from the hat mouse or whatever. So you know what? Let's get the fedora. Star yeah, that's, that's a lot. Light green rug. I'm not crazy about it. I think we already have a rug inside there anyways. And our house isn't upgraded, so it's not even that big. Let's get the fedora. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, uh, I th is that it for the event? Do we just leave now? I think so, because I'm like, the, the other pathways are completely open still, so. And there's no, like, clock, no way of keeping track of what time it is and whatnot right now. I guess we could just leave? And I can't go to the community center right now, because it's blocked off over here, isn't it? Uh, oh, wait, no, never. Oh, wait. Oh, this is where all the people, I didn't see this. Okay, so who, wait, who's, isn't this must be another tourist right here. Yep, tourist. Man, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. Ugh, so stuffed. Hey, pff, I'll eat it. <laughs> Eating people's leftovers and stuff. Yeah, this is where everyone is. And this is where Gus is, which is like five grills over here. This is what they were talking about. Whoa, what happened? Then he just tossed me a burger and I catched it in my mouth like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. All right. Look at that big smile he's got on. Oh, wait, no. That was because I clicked on the heckin' uh, grill right there. Okay. <laughs> Would I eat three burgers right there? What? Man, I'm on an empty stomach today. Hopefully I get a full uh, energy bar after this. What do you have to say about this, Elliot? I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. Yeah, it's a secret family recipe handed down from generation to generation. What do you have to say about this, Mario? <laughs> Mmm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, he stole the McRib sauce and <laughs> and put it on actual ribs this time. What do you guys have to say over here, Evelyn and uh, George? I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe. Mmm, that sounds pretty good. I had some uh, teriyaki chicken yesterday with zucchinis. It was pretty delicious. What do you have to say about this, uh, George? What in the world? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Smoked turkey hunch. I guess this festival isn't all that bad. Wait, why does he have that voice? <laughs> He sounds like 80 years younger all of a sudden. <laughs> 80? Was he like negative like something years old now? Yeah, like, okay, well, I, 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 I'm like, this is all closed off of here. I guess that's it. I'm like, I'm glad I came up here to finally discover all this stuff. I'm like, we can get another burger. There you go. Mmm, man, that sauce smells so good. Tastes even better. Oh, wait, what's this? Can I steal this? Uh, someone's cup right there. Can I get this? Nah. All right, well, I guess that is it. Do we just leave now? I guess so. Because we all we did all the games, I think. We talked to everyone, Caroline, blah blah blah. Can't talk to Mayor Lewis anymore. That guy right there, there's Penny. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's it. I don't see anything else to do. I don't see anyone else. Oh wait, hold on. I can't go through the trash. <laughs> that's what I'm upset about. I can't go through the trash with everyone watching me. All right, well let's just leave. I assume this this ends the event here if I just leave. So let's see what happens. I'm like we did everything. I assume right, and we got all the stuff back. Yeah, we got everything back, so that's good. Second place, though. Oh, here it is. Leave the Stardew Valley Fair once you do the festival win. Yeah, I feel like we got everything done. We spent all of our star token things, so let's go. I think we. I think that was a success. Oh, yeah, boom, just like I thought. Uh, the heckin' thing will go back to 10 p.m. right there. What's this? Plus three forging survival burger. Hey! Hold on, does that... Does that continue, like, whenever I leave off this episode and then exit the game and then come back, like, two days from now to record another episode? I'm like, I've got the forging thing right there. Was that again? Uh, plus three forging. So I, I guess we can forge a little bit, but I kind of wanted to get the community center. Kind of get that done real quick. Uh, cause, just because we have the Maki roll, we already have the uh, the jelly or jam or whatever that is. And yeah, wow, they already took down all the stuff over here. Golly, that was fast. 
<laughs> we came over here at like what 11 or something like that and they already took it down at 10 p.m geez i see if we can find anything else over here foraging wise just because we did clean out a lot of that weeds and tall grass and whatnot but i'm not seeing anything yeah and there might be worms it's just that it's night oh wait ah, no, it's not worms oh man yeah we haven't got worms in a while actually now i think about it i'm actually kind of surprised by that uh but what am i doing over here where am i going spice berry jelly where was that at that was a chef's bundle or something like that over here where was that bulletin board yeah chef's bundle oh no that was monkey roll wait where is the uh who wanted the uh oh yeah that's frozen i forgot about the frozen tier pomegranate then apples where is the uh the jelly and stuff hold on pantry animal bundle artisan bundle I think that's it right there. And then honey, okay. Artisan bundle, and then we have a bunch of stuff there. Pomegranate, peach, cherry, cheese, and cloth, truffle oil. Golly. Spice berry jelly. Okay, so we got that done. We only need to do six over here. Five more now. So that's good. We got a little bit of progress there. Let's go down over here to, I think, what was it? The bulletin board? I'm trying to remember. Because it was the, uh... Yep, Chef's Bundle. Yep, Maki Roll. And we have I don't think we have any poppies. I think that was from spring, wasn't it? I feel like everything from spring we either sold or gifted or something. We don't have anything left over. So, yeah, I'm just going to assume that we don't have any of those. And we're going to have to wait until spring decks to get that again. But maple syrup, fiddlehead fern, and the truffle and fried egg. We can probably get the fried egg here somewhat soon. Uh, once I actually do upgrade my house to get the kitchen. Not anytime soon, though, because, of course, I'm basically broke. I've got only $1,000. So, you know, once, once all those pumpkins and whatever else grow and, and we could sell them, get some good money out of it, then we could actually worry about uh, upgrading the house. And I think on top of that, someone said, uh, oh, yeah, wow, there's nothing there. Oh, yeah, it's the new week. We can go check up on the uh, thing down here. I guess we can go do that real quick. Uh, what was I saying just a second ago? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, on top of the $10,000 it takes to, like, upgrade the kitchen, we're also going to need, like, 450 wood, too. So I completely forgot about that. So. Yeah, we're going to, have to cut down a bunch of trees once we do have the 10,000, uh, just so we can actually do that, right? Oh, wow, this is interesting. So we have one we could do for a two-week period, and then another one for a one-week period right here. That one looks like that's for uh, Demetrius, and the other one's for Gus. Yeah, well, it says right there, Gus's famous omelet. Famous omelet. Aquatic overpopulation by Demetrius. For unknown reasons, the local population of Midnight Carp has grown to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers. Okay. Midnight Carp. So... Does it mean literally at midnight, or does it just mean midnight, or uh, dark? Like, what, what time does it turn to dark here? I don't know, but I need to figure out where the carp, midnight carp would be. And then, like, at nighttime, I guess just go fishing over there, and then I guess we're going to need a set amount of fish there. Or, we could do Gus's famous omelet over here. I've got an urge to make my famous giant omelet, but I'll need two dozen eggs. Any takers? Um, we could probably do that. We could probably do that. 13 days to get two dozen eggs. And we have four chickens, so we essentially get four eggs per day. With that kind of math, we could we could do that in about a week. Yeah. As long as I don't sell any... Well, then... Hold on. So, he, he needs that many... Do I get that good... I feel like... I feel if I do that, I'm missing out on a lot of good money from turning the eggs into mayonnaise, right? Because you get 190 per egg whenever you put them in the mayonnaise machine. Which, by the way, because we have four chickens now, I need to get more mayonnaise machines. We have only two right now. I think I'm going to choose aquatic overpopulation, and that gives us an excuse to kind of go fishing again. It's been a little while since we did that, you know, more seriously and stuff like that. Let's do this. Yeah. Because I assume all the, all the eggs over here, because he needs to make an omelet, obviously we're not going to get the eggs back, right? We're going to be missing out on a lot of money there, and I kind of need that this early in the game. So I think I'm going to do Demetrius' aquatic overpopulation try and find i don't know it doesn't say how many i need to get how many midnight car midnight carp i need to get but remember we have that like upgraded quality bait or whatever from linus so we could actually start making that and maybe we'll have a better luck finding these guys so let's accept this quest we have only six more well five more days now to do it but we'll have to worry about that starting next episode so there you go uh let's actually look at that 10 of them okay you know what i feel like that's doable for unknown reasons oh yeah it doesn't say anything right there i might have to look that up or you guys tell me in the comments uh but midnight, I don't, I don't think we ever caught any midnight carp. Is it just carp that you catch at midnight, or is it literally called midnight carp? I don't think we have it here. I think these are only things that I've sold. I feel like, 
yeah, there's no, nothing there for fish. And by the way, I think someone commented saying uh, I could just go over here and read about the minerals instead of actually going to the, you know, whenever I donate the stuff to the museum, I could just, uh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, so we didn't even donate the thunder egg, but we can, uh, we could donate it. We could read about it right here. According to legend, the angry thunder spirits would throw these stones at one another. What? And it even says how many I found. I found one there and then one of those, one marble. What do we find a lot of amethyst? Yeah, 11 right there. Wow. And it even shows how much you, money you get. So I guess that means I've sold them before. 200 right there. Diamond, yeah, 750. Oh, wait, no. I guess it shows that for everything. Okay, because I haven't sold a thunder egg and it's only worth 100 right there. But yeah, the diamond, that's that's why it, that's why I don't have any diamonds. Because if I did have any diamonds, I probably sold it, right? <laughs> Got a little bit of money out of it. And then there's quartz there and then Nico White and all that kind of stuff. But either way, uh, we have that done. We need to basically head home like immediately. Yeah, it's 1220 right now. I just kind of want to grab that forging thing just because we still have that buff. I don't know how long that is. Three and a half more minutes or three minutes, 50 seconds. I don't, I don't know if that's going to cut into next episode because I'm going to, have to restart the game by then, right? So I don't know if that's going to reset it or if it's still going to be on the top of the screen. Hopefully it is, right? But let's just go home. It's uh, 1250 right now. We have a lot of gold star things we need to put up before I heckin' Wow, look at that rabbit right there. Wow. But I want to put up a bunch of gold star things before I can forget about it or accidentally sell them or whatever else. And we have that uh, rare crow. I don't know. What, what does it do? I'm going to put that like right here. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Wait. Boom. There we go. Uh, spooky little rare crow. <laughs> Let's put all the, uh, speaking of rare, put all the rare things up over here. Rare and valuable things. There you go. Blank berries and red snapper. There you go. And then we have the fedora too. I completely forgot about that. Whoops. Uh, let's put that on. Yeah, we don't have a hat, so now we do. All right. <laughs> uh, level 12 tiller. Ooh, I didn't even know that showed that whenever you uh, hovered over. So that's why I look like with the heckin' fedora. That's what I'm going to look like from now on with my heckin' uh, uh, intros and outros and stuff like that. So you guys might want to get used to that. But let's go to sleep for the night. I think we sold a couple uh, mayonnaise. Oh, you know what? I probably had some more mayonnaise I could have got, but whatever. Uh, there are the eggs that I sold, actual eggs I sold, because I wanted to ship them for that one uh, achievement that that person reminded me about. Then 100... Uh, one, yeah, 190 for the mayonnaise. That kind of shows you the difference you get between the regular egg and the mayonnaise. Like it more than almost quadruples right there. Uh, whenever you turn it into mayonnaise. But speaking of mayonnaise, we do want to make more mayonnaise machines. Let's not forget about that, you guys. But day 17 has started, and we're going to, have to end off the episode right here because this, this video is absolutely over an hour long now. I am absolutely sure of that. <laughs> we have this right here. What does this do? I haven't encountered it. Oh, it's an, it's just a scare. I thought it was uh. Like just decoration, but no, it's an actual functional scarecrow. Cool. Okay. And by the way, do we have to import bees or does it just work? It might just work right out the bat. I don't know. And by the way, what is this? What is that right? No, don't eat the eggplant. What is that thing right there? That purple. Something's like sprouting right there and I don't know what it is. Oh, wait. Oh, look at the tree. I forgot about the taps. I forgot to make more of them. Whoops. Uh, maple syrup is done, you guys. Let's hug all the chickens. Let's go shake them on the, uh, the troop up there. Even though all this stuff doesn't matter, it's going to reset at the beginning of next episode anyways. But yeah, there you go. Uh, more, uh, what do you call that? Mayonnaise right there. And then, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. We need more mayonnaise machines. And, uh, let's actually get... Oh, oh there's an egg in front of the chest. But, uh, no, 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 not three of them. Two of them. There you go. Uh, but yeah, apparently babies are also able to eat the wheat or the tall grass outside so yeah you don't have to worry about feeding them and stuff like that in here i guess it's only for whenever it's raining outside right but we got four eggs right there how expensive is it for a uh another mayonnaise machine oh yeah earth but i think we have those right like a lot of them like a decent amount of them because i'm pretty sure we got a lot of them especially with all the mining we did or like mining adventures we did lately pretty sure we have a lot of earth crystals right where are those oh tw yeah so we have 12 of those i need one of them for a. Uh where is that at? Here we go. One of them for a mayonnaise machine? Yeah. So we just need to get wood, stone, and copper. But I'm pretty sure we have copper, like, ready to go right now, right? Yeah, we have 14. So stone. Yeah, we have that. We just need to cut down trees next. Okay. So we'll, we'll worry about that next episode. So until then, I'm going to have to end this episode right here and uh, look forward to next episode where we're going to hopefully have more progress here with the farm. You know, we have a bunch of eggplants and stuff like that. We have to harvest over here as well as, yeah, you see, you can see it a lot easier now. So th this is a pumpkin three by three right there. Another one right there. Another one right here. And another one right here with bok choy, like kind of between all of that. So that's what we got going on here. And I think tomorrow the bok choy might be ready, right? No, we planted them on the 15th. Okay, so. 
next episode they'll be ready like the second half of next episode these will be ready and we'll have to buy another 30 seeds and then plant them again and then hopefully we'll get more uh farming xp and stuff like that and all this corn over here needs to be harvested but we'll worry about that at the beginning of next episode so until then thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there be sure to ring that bell so youtube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of stardew valley comes out so you don't miss it but until then thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll see you guys here next time with some more stardew valley with my fedora for these intros and outros <laughs> oh bye there